Hey guys, welcome to Thursday. I'm at the store right now looking for a card. It's time for my mom. Last month I was looking for a card for my dad because it was his birthday, but then my mom's birthday is this weekend. And I really want to send her a card and hopefully it gets to her before her actual birthday. I don't, I don't know if I ever actually talked about it on a vlog, but that card that I sent my dad, the one that I showed in this vlog, didn't show up until a week later for some reason, even though I put it in for two-day shipping. So hopefully this one will actually show up on time. And I don't, I just, this one isn't my favorite that I've gotten my mom before, but it's the only one that I can find that I even remotely like, so. Remember all those times I was supposed to do something but didn't because I knew if I waited long enough, you'd do it yourself. Remember when you told me not to do something and I went ahead and did it anyway without your permission? Thanks for letting me live. And it just says, Mom's Garden. But yeah, I'm gonna write like a handout right there and send it off. I'm gonna go to the post office right now and send it to her. And I'm going over to Giselle's and I'm gonna make dinner. It's already past five though, so I need to get back and do that as soon as possible because there is plenty of stuff to be done tonight. All right, so we're done with dinner now and it was really good. Christopher yeah. made burgers and they were yummy, yummy. Yeah, they were, even though I just had a burger for lunch today. It was leftover from last week. So that was fun. I needed to eat it before the fridge made it go bad because the fridge still isn't fixed and probably won't be fixed for another few days. Yeah. Apparently it, do it doesn't have gas in it or something. It yeah. needs more gas. Like the cooling I gas, I Cooling think. gas. I didn't know fridges had gas, but then I realized like, oh, the cooling stuff, so. Coolant, so. Hopefully that happens sometime soon, but I just got this in the mail. Well, I got it this morning and I didn't want to open it because I was running late and needed to get to work. I didn't have, feel like stopping and filming and opening it, but I really wanted to film, and, like, film opening it, so this is a book that the author sent to me. It's nice and sticky. Let's literally get off my... <laughs> the author was nice enough to send this to me. He sent this to a few booktubers already. I know uh, Caitlin has it, Connor has it, Sam has Sam it. Sam has it, so um, I'm really excited to have it also. He asked me about it and I'm really glad he asked me about it because I really, really wanted it actually ever since I saw them haul it. And it is called The Dragon's Blade, The Reborn King. It is by Michael R. Miller. Michael sent me this very nicely. He's from he's from somewhere in the UK, I believe, and he was nice enough to send this overseas to me. Very, very happy. It's such a beautiful book. It really is. He's got some really great cover art for being... It's a self-published book, by the way, so if you haven't heard of it, that's why. But I thought it sounded really interesting, and I really wanted to pick it up and give it a shot. I really want to email some publishers and try to get books that aren't released yet. And this is released already, but I do want to like review books like this, books that people haven't necessarily read yet or anything. So super excited to have it. It's really beautiful. Do you like it? Do you yeah, like it looks? it's so pretty. It really is. And look how the, tiny, the words are so tiny. This is the book that I want to read next. Like after I just started reading Finn Fancy Necromancy because I finished Errors of the Queen. But after I finish Finn Fancy, I'm going to start reading this. This is way up high on my list now that I have it. So Thanks, Michael. If you ever see this, I'm not sure if you'll see this vlog or not, but thank you for sending it to me. I will definitely show it in a booktube video very soon, and we'll be doing a review of it on my booktube channel when I'm done reading it, whenever that is. Hopefully yeah. not Hopefully not after the end of March. I'm really hoping to finish it by the end of March. Hopefully. So Chris is editing right now, though. But I was editing earlier today, and there was some issues there. <laughs> it was... It was amusing to edit at first, and then eventually I was just like frustrated. It was like, oh my gosh, why am I? Why there's so many cuts and stuff? Yeah, there's it was so bad. So it basically it was a big death sequence. So that's good. That's what I was doing for some of earlier today and stuff. Also, I just opened. It. I didn't look in the first page and see this. It says for Chris, best wishes for you and reading roads, and he signed it for me. It's very very that's nice really of you. That's really cool. Whenever you're famous and have written a bunch of books and everybody loves them, I'll have a signed copy of your first book. That'd be really awesome. <laughs> I really hope I like it. I really think I will. The story sounds really interesting. I don't know if you've read anything about it or anything, but it sounds interesting. So I'm headed out now. I got a message from the landlord saying that she will give me her mini fridge to use for a couple of days while they look for a new one. They are going to buy a new one instead of like try to replace the, the coolant gas stuff that's in it and stuff. So they said they actually offered to bring it by the apartment, but I'm going to be passing by their house on the way to the apartment anyway, so I'm just going to pick it up from them on the way back and then go home and hopefully it'll work at least and I can get some of the stuff in the fridge and it won't be gross for tomorrow because I have stuff in there that I would like to keep good. It's probably already bad anyway. Some of the stuff like the milk, probably bad. I don't know. The eggs will hopefully be fine. It was supposed to expire like today or tomorrow anyway, so... Yeah, well, anyway, I uh, I just got done editing my wrap-up. That's going to go up tonight, hopefully. 
I filmed that last night along with my Arrows of the Queen review and I didn't really say anything about it, but that was one of the roughest filming nights that I've ever had. It just did not go well. I'm happy with how they eventually turned out, but I think, I think Giselle knows what I'm talking about when I say rough filming night, but... Yeah. But on a happier note, as of yesterday, so a month ago, at the beginning of February, the first week of February, I was eight books behind on my Goodreads challenge, and as of yesterday, I am on task. Good job. I'm High five. Up. You're caught up? That's amazing. My goal is 100 books this year, by the way, you guys, so I yeah. read all the books that I needed to. So I guess, like, about eight books a month is what it's supposed to be. Um, and I then, don't know. And <sighs> then plus, I was able to read enough to catch up, so I guess 16 books is about what I read. Yeah, that's awesome. Good job. I think I'm, like, two ahead right now. I think my, what am I set my goal for? I think my goal is 150. I think I'm doing okay. I just haven't been reading physical books as much as I would like to. But he's been reading a lot of audiobooks and short audiobooks and stuff. But, yeah. Like a series of unfortunate events. He's almost done with the seventh book. He's flying yeah. through the series. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm about to head back. Giselle, you're probably going to film some more stuff tonight, though, right? Yeah, hopefully I can film another wrap or something. I've just been having a really tough time filming lately, so I'm going to try again, and if it doesn't work out, then Definitely. I'll just try again tomorrow. What was your favorite video that was having bad luck It was with any videos that I was filming that was having bad luck. Well, so good so. Well, good luck. I hope you can get some wrap-ups out, because you're, you got to get a few out to catch up, right? Okay. Yeah, okay. I have three that I need to film, I think. Wonderful. So. <laughs> and then edit, and then schedule to put out at some point in intervals that make sense, so. Yeah. Anyway, I think that's it for tonight, though. We're going to go and off and do that stuff. As soon as I get home, I'm going to finish editing this. Like, just, up, just export it and upload it and then go to sleep because I'm really tired. But, yeah, mini fridge is good news. Hopefully, we can actually get an actual, like, decent fridge that doesn't break in a couple months this time. Yeah. But we'll see. We were so happy when we got this last fridge. I know. I w it was one of the best days of the apartment. We got a new fridge, and it worked perfectly. The other one was gross and it leaked. Yeah, it was gross. Was and this one was this one looked like it hadn't been used. I don't hardly any. Yeah. Well, hopefully the next one is better. But yeah. anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys.